On to the top story now, U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's Republican Party held on to a narrow edge on Friday as election officials tallied the final votes. This will determine control of the U.S. House of Representatives. Republicans have secured 212 seats till now, six short of the majority in the 435-member chamber, with 23 races left to be called. According to projections by Edison Research, Republicans are set to hold a majority of at least 53 seats in the Senate. The Senate or upper chamber and the White House have already flipped to Republicans, meaning Donald Trump could have significant power to carry out his political agenda after he is sworn in on the 20th of January 2025. Control of the House gives the party the power to initiate spending legislation and launch impeachment proceedings against officials. And for more, we have Shabendu Ghosh joining us from Washington, D.C. Well, Shabendu, uh, good morning. As Trump begins transition and the race for House uh, still uh, continues, what's the current position with the House right now? And how much of a policy advantage is it for, the tr for Trump to have the Senate uh, on his side? Uh, if you look at uh, the legislative arm of the government, uh, Lipakshi, uh, and we talk about the Senate, Senate is where the Republicans have flipped and uh, got uh, the majority. In that sense, it's a hugely uh, advantageous position for Donald Trump. He himself has got uh, a massive uh, uh, advantage in his presidency. He's going to he sweep uh, as far as his presidency is concerned. Having the Senate will enable him uh, through many processes. Senate is an important body which uh, is part of the legislative process. A lot of bills and legislation pass through the Senate. Having the Senate in control will help the smooth passage of those bills. Impeachment parts of the Senate are important. High-ranking federal officers can, all, can only be impeached through the proceedings in the Senate. Uh, so that is an enabling factor uh, for anyone who is at the helm of the affairs. Also, uh, Senate is an important uh, institution that helps in the appointment of important positions such as ambassadors as well as judges in courts, uh, both of which are uh, hugely important uh, for the new government, for the new U.S. government uh, to be able to have in control. As far as House of Representatives is concerned, uh, it is really a rare combination where the presidency, the Senate and House of Representatives also, I mean, the fight for the House of Representatives is still on, although Republicans have a clear edge. Uh, and, uh, 212 seats is uh, what they have managed so far. 218 is the majority mark that they need. Experts say they're likely to get it. And when, when they do, uh, all three institutions, the presidency, the Senate, and the House of Representation, uh, Representatives would be uh, under the influence of uh, Donald Trump. And in that sense, uh, it would enable him to greatly and more efficiently uh, take forward his legislative agenda. Very true. Also, Shobendu, Donald Trump has named his aide Susie Wiles as his future White House chief of staff, as we all know yesterday. What is the news about Indian Americans running for the top post in Trump and Vance administration? It's difficult to confirm for now, Lipakshi, but there are a number of Indian American names that are doing rounds. As we speak, there is an extensive vetting process that is on. For every position, there are multiple candidates and the vetting is on to uh, figure out who's the best person to lead that particular department for uh, uh, President-elect Donald Trump. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy's uh, name is doing rounds for Homeland Security. Uh, we know that he's a sort of rival turn ally. He speaks very passionately about MAGA now. Once upon a time, he was a rival to President uh, uh, Trump uh, as far as uh, the Republican uh, primaries were concerned. Thereafter, he was also a running candidate for the vice president's position, which uh, later uh, once uh, got. So Vivek Ramaswamy, an important uh, name that is coming up. Also, Tulsi Gabbard, the Democrat turned Republican, uh, is also another name. Uh, she could be utilized for an important diplomatic uh, position is what we are uh, hearing. Also, Kash Patel, uh, Kasha Patel is his name, Kash Patel, as he's known in America. Uh, he's an Indian-American lawyer, has worked prominently in Republican offices. His name is also being heard uh, as a top position in the CIA. There's also Bobby Jindal, Nikki Haley. We're yet to know uh, the details of what position they may be utilized for or if they would uh, be part of the government at all. But... There are some important Indian-American names doing rounds at the moment, Lipakshi. Right, Shibendu. Also, if we talk about the Democrats, on the other hand, who do you think uh, will lead and head the party's uh, national committee? Well, that, that's a very difficult question for anyone to answer, particularly for the Democrats. 
for for all practical purposes they are in a huddle now it's unexpected result that they are uh, right. trying to come to terms with uh, the republicans donald trump is completely swept it's completely True. turned red as far as uh, the us uh, uh, map political map is concerned so in that sense there is a lot of uh, discussion deliberation going on for the road ahead one is of course who's going to be the national head a lot of state governors who still continue to wield a lot of influence and power in the uh, democratic uh, ecosystem uh, are being approached uh, but this is a very crucial time whoever takes the leadership will have to uh, really stand up to a mammoth force represented by Donald Trump and uh, Republicans who now would control most likely the house of representatives they already control the senate so that sort of a challenge uh, the new leader will have to ponder a lot before taking up the responsibility because it's not going to be an easy one and it will take some time before the democrats can come up with a name which has everyone's uh, support and a person who who could stand up to the challenge as it presents itself at the moment absolutely a very very crucial time indeed thank you so much rabindu for joining us and giving us those details